Hey guys, it's me again. Just gonna take you a quick walk through of some apps on the Palm Pre. So again, we'll just turn this on. Alright, so again, you, I already showed you the home screen and everything that can do, but let's get into some of the cooler apps of this uh, phone itself. So first, let's go through the email app. Um, and actually, I'll start it like this. So, once again, let's say I was uh, browsing the web which I can show you the browser in a second as well. Right now I, can f I did connect to Wi-Fi just to allow things to load easier so uh, there's no waiting in this video. So you'll see the Palm website load up really quickly um, off of Wi-Fi. Boom. So it's up right now. Um, I guess actually let me show you the browser real quick. So here's the website. Um, just like the iPhone you can pinch to zoom around the website or you know, pinch together to zoom out. You can also double tap to uh, format to a column. So if I just double tap, there you go. Um, it'll bring me close to the column. And you could browse around with a finger like that. So um, you know, the, the browser works very well. I've never had any issues with it. Um, you know, even when, let me pull up another website. This is my bookmarks, by the way. Um, so let's just pull up ESPN, which you know a lot of people do visit. So here, it does load up the ESPN mobile site. You can change that if you really wanted to, but I think actually ESPN mobile is a good way to avoid the clutter of the full ESPN website. But um, here you'll see it loads up quick. I can scroll through, find out any information I need to. But uh, let me let me show you what happens if I do get an email while um, say reading about Roar of the Tiger. So I'm reading, looking through my browser, when all of a sudden I'm just I'm sending an email right now from my phone. Alright, so sent from my computer. So it should arrive to the pre within a few seconds. There you go. So you heard the sound and notification down there. That alerts me that I have an email. Once again, not interrupting any of my browsing experience. No notifications um, right in the middle of the web browser. So, right now, we'll, I have this option to click the email thing, and it says, an email from Douglas Bailey, hey, it says, yo, bro, I can choose to ignore it, or I can go directly to it, but um, let's check it out, yo, bro sounds interesting. So, you just hit it, and it'll open the email application right now. Yo, bro, and it says, look at this picture, and this is just to show you that the pre does full HTML browsing, so the picture stays intact from my computer. It's a picture of me I took from my old phone, the Sanyo uh, M1, I believe. Um, but the fact that I can keep the whole picture on screen without, you know, downloading any, any other things, it works very nice. But um, this is also going to clear up my inbox, so I can just hit this button right here, and I'll delete, and I'll go to my main inbox. So let's talk about the email, um, the email app right now. So again, we'll hit email. I'll bring it up. I've synced my AOL and my Gmail account to this phone. And as you can see, you have a few options. You have all inboxes, which just puts all your email there. You have inbox for your Gmail, inbox for your AOL. And down here, you can just uh, expand these menus, and it'll give you more folders. So inbox, outbox, all mail, draft, sent mail. So uh, it does hide that very well, unless you really need it. But let's just go in real quick to my Gmail. So I just hit Gmail. And you'll see it'll, it breaks down with today. Oh, by the way, every time you do go into your email, it'll sync with the server just to see if there's any additional emails. But um, it'll say what emails I got today or before. And um, you can just click it to basically see the whole whole video. This is about my Zoom video I did. Um, but you can see the whole comment. And then to go back, which is a feature I didn't show you yet, but to go back, down here is actually a touch screen. It's not part of the screen, but it's a touch screen. I just swipe over the top like that. I'll go back a page. This works in all applications. So it's a great way to go back and becomes very intuitive. So um, another way you can look at email, um, you can also preview an email without fully opening it. So if I do the pinch feature, if I hold down there and I expand, you'll see actually I'm doing it for this one. Um, I can open and close an email wider so that, that's my bodybuilding email you see it'll, it'll go bigger or smaller it's a good way to just preview the email 
um, without actually fully opening it. The great thing is, if you just need to delete an email, just like this monster job search results. I'm not looking for a job right now, so let's just delete it. Um, you just swipe it to the right or the left. I'm oh, sorry. And boom, it's deleted. And I can just go back, and back there. So that's the email application. Um, it does work very well. Um, you know, not as robust as my uh, former BlackBerry, but just the fact that HTML emails work, it's a, it's a great addition to that. So we can just quit that. I um, guess I have about five more minutes on this video, so I'll show you a few other apps. Uh, camera application. You know, to be honest, it's a little bare bones right now. It does take great pictures. Um, so you'll see pretty much it only has three things. It has the, the flash button, the camera button, and your photos button. So let's just hit, let's just take a picture. You just hit this button. Here, take the picture. And boom, it immediately puts it down here. So I can hit this and I'll open up my photo album directly to that picture I just took. So boom, there's the picture I took. You know, I can do the whole rotate. Um, this one does actually rotate all the way upside down. But um, it's, uh, you know, works as a photo app. And again, just toss it away, get back to the camera. Um, a pretty cool thing is I've noticed how fast this phone can take pictures. So if I just basically hold down my button on the screen capture and just keep on hitting it, these are all pictures being taken. You can hear it going. And it processes it in the background. So you can take really quick shots. And I know cell phone pictures often, you need to get that quick shot because it's just something you really have to share with someone. So that's a great feature. And I can get rid of that. Um, show you one more quick app, I guess. Uh, well, you know, we can fully show you the, the photo app itself as well. Alright, so this loads up like this. Um, so if I go to, say, wallpapers, I can see them all just like this. Uh, this is only one page, but you can scroll up and down normally. Well, what you do is just pick a picture and you can just swipe through them, much like the iPhone. You know, it works well swipe a little you can actually see both pictures but um works very well these are all beautiful wallpapers um so you know that's really just the photo app not much more to that and uh i can also show you uh memo app which is pretty cool so memos are you know just things you want to jot down to make sure you remember um as you can see my girlfriend did leave me little little memo herself <laughs> happy anniversary um, but basically it looks like a poster board which is pretty cool but all you have to do is start a new memo just hit new memo up there and um, I can begin typing so I'm gonna slide out the keyboard and just jot something down you can also see how fast I can type on this which is pretty pretty speedy so we'll just type um, remember to take out the trash. So you can see it doesn't take that bad, bad for me to uh, type on it. But um, if you're looking for save buttons, the pre actually has zero. So all you have to do is go back sorry, and boom, my new memo is up there in blue. And, um, and you could add to it, remove it, things like that. So the memo app works pretty great. Um, and I, I really like the graphical style of the the post-it board and lastly uh, I can show you uh, let's show you quickly the music application which is just the mp3 player um, you know works as an mp3 player should there are probably some updates they can do to it but right now I just have the Eminem album on this the last one that just came out so if I just hit you know albums relapse It'll have me the songs that I can play, and then all I need to hit is uh, you know, just hit one of the songs, and I'll begin playing with the album art. You know, it looks good, but uh, you could go backwards in the song to go to the next one, and I'll automatically start playing. And you know, go to the previous one, and um, just like Pandora, I can be doing something else so. Say if I was typing, you could still have that music icon down there 
and you can control your music from there. So that's just a few of the apps. I'm gonna come back with another video with some of the a little more, a little more intensive apps um, that are really fun to use. So stay tuned. Thanks.